Hello there guys, welcome to episode 10 of how to program in C++. Today we're gonna finally get down to compound assignment, uh, which is something that uh, is very commonly used and helps speed up the process of writing uh, at least arithmetic operations a fair amount in most cases. Also, we're going to be going over the increase or decrease operators. So that's two in one today. So let's get started. Let's make ourselves, as we have been doing the past couple of lessons, two variables so we can mess around with them, I guess. We'll probably only need one to begin with. Uh, I'm also going to see out the first variable. So see out value one value one you would have thought I would have started writing these things in advance by now but I just haven't bothered <laughs> okay let's get started so as we know um, I could set value one equal to one and then I could go value one uh, equals value one plus four Three. And that would set it to 1 plus 3, or it would basically just add 3 onto value 1. Let's test it and prove it. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm going to put a space in there because that's very confusing the way it is right now. Uh, much better. So as you can see, it says 4. Uh, okay, so there is a much faster way of doing this where you can completely bypass putting in this value 1 altogether. And that is using a compound assignment operator. In this case, instead of doing equals value 1 plus, you can just do plus equals. Uh, make sure you get this the right way around uh, because it will not work if you have it equals plus three. Um, that will just confuse the compiler. It will either think you're talking about a positive three or it will just bring up an error. I'm thinking an error. Oh no, it does think that you're saying plus three. But that is not what we want. We want it to add on this three into the value that already exists in value one. And that is what this operator will do for us. So if we run it. Yes, indeed, it has added this three onto this value one. Uh, so let's change up the numbers a bit, I guess. So we'll put three and I'll put two. Now you can do the same thing for all sorts of, uh, well, all the basic fundamental operators that we went over before, such as negative. Let's try negative. Yes, indeed. It, st it takes off the two off of the value of one this time. Just adding this equals after this arithmetic operator uh, will perform will give you that kind of result. So, uh, same case with multiplication. I'm just going to go through and quickly dem demonstrate all these. I guess it'll be a quick reminder of all the fundamental uh, arithmetic operators. In this case, it has times the value of value 1 by 2. Very nice. You can do it with division. And there we go. We have 1 because it's rounding off the number. Uh, it would be 1.5, but remember we're using the integer data type, uh, which means that it's just cutting off anything after the decimal. Refer back to a previous episode on data types if you want to know more about that. Um, and finally, you can do modulo. So let's do modulo, and it should return 1. Yes because one is the remainder from value one modulo two. Uh, so all these statements are just the equivalent of their bigger version, which would be in this case, value modulo equals two would just be value equals value one modulo two. That would be the exact same thing, but in this case you can shorten it substantially by just typing that. Okay, excellent. Um, so, what if you just want to add one to a value? Well, you would probably do this if you if you were not in the know. You'd be like, okay, so I want to add one to value one as it currently stands, which is three, so this should make it four. And it does. Well, there's an even faster way of doing this. And this is, now we are getting into the increase operator, which is kind of separate from the compound assignment operators we've just been going over. Um, the increase operator allows you to just 
increment your your variable by one without any the, any you need for entering in a proper value. So let me show you the operator and we'll get started. All you have to do is enter two pluses and that is the increment or increase operator. And this should also increase the value by one. It has indeed. Uh, the same thing applies to negatives. So you can put two negatives and it will just decrease the value in value one by one. There we go. Beautiful. I don't think I'm going to need this value too. Uh, so there's one more thing that I want to go over with this. And that is the fact that the order does matter with this. In uh, what I'm trying to get at here is you can in fact put this increment or decrement operator before the variable name. Uh, let me just show you. It does the exact same thing. It or at least at this current time, it appears to do the exact same thing, right? Uh, but it, it actually changes something. It changes the order in which this executes. Um, in this case, if the plus plus is on this side, then it will increment value one before it does anything else on this line. In this case, this is the only thing on the line. So we need to demonstrate this somehow. And you know what? We are going to use value two. So we're going to set value two equal to plus plus Val oops, value one. Now let's quickly add another line so we can see what value two comes out to be. So C out value two colon space stream in value two and the line and we'll see what happens. Now because we put this plus plus before the variable name, it will execute this, it will add the one onto this value one before it sets value two equal to value one. So in this case, we should both, both of these should come out as four because value one currently equals three, but we add one onto value one, it equals four, and then we set value two equal to value one, and it should equal four. And it does. However, as I just mentioned, the order depends on which side it's on it. And in this case, it will set value two equal to value one before it adds the one onto value one. So the outcome of this should be that value two equals three and value one equals four. And as you can see, it has indeed come out that way. Works exactly the same way with the negative, uh, but obviously it decrements the number. So that's, that's going to do it for this time. Just be sure to remember that whenever you put the increment operator or decrement operator before the variable, it will execute this before it executes the overall expression. And if you put it afterwards, then it will do the overall expression before it adds on one. This will be ignored until the rest of the line is complete. Okay, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And next time we will do more interesting stuff, which I haven't planned yet. So we'll see what happens then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.